hi everyone i am going to make this quilt which is called around the world quilt so i have some pillow covers which i hardly use them and some other fabric so it's like a recycle quilt so i'm going to use my fleece blanket as batting for the same quilt and what you have to do is you measure the quarter of the quilt and cut strips according to that so I have cut these strips, these are 9 strips, 4 inches wide and I have arranged it like this and then I am going to stitch them. So let's go to the sewing machine. So these are the first two strips I am adding. Like this I am going to add all 9 of them and then I am going to add the first, join the first one and the ninth one the last one so after adding this I'm enjoying this I'm going to cut strips two and a half inches wide this way so I'll have all the colors of the uh, quill this block in one strip so these are the four separate blocks which I have made I'm going to iron all of them so that it's lays flat while cutting it becomes very convenient if you like my video please press the like button and please share the video with your family whoever is interested in making a quilt so after this let's go back so this extra fabric i have already trimmed and i'm using this ruler to mark 2.5 inches on both sides of this strips so this is the first one 2.5 5 7.5 10 12.5 15 17.5 and 20.5 and there are two more strips after that and I have got 10 strips from each block so altogether I have 40 don't mix them cut each block and then first stitch them or otherwise put it in a separate plastic bag or whatever way you want to store it so that you don't mix them and then arrange them I have arranged it this way but later I realized this was not a good way because all the seams are falling in one line so then it is not going to be like uh, while stitching it is not going to be very convenient but I realized it quite late after cutting them so this is here I have cut them but uh, it's a mistake which I have already made so I'm not going to get a diamond shape so after cutting all the strips I arranged them opened it and arranged them but uh, as I already told you I did not want it like this like all the seam the, you know the lining up of the seams because while stitching it is not going to be convenient for me so what I did I cut another block of the, the 10 strips which was there here I had cut it in the middle right of one fabric now in this one I, I cut one half and then one I had to cut the other uh, block the full one I'm not able to explain it properly but maybe so you can see that right so it's like half block going in a line overlapping kind you know so this is how it is so I am going to cut this stitching from here you don't have to unpick just cut it and this is how it is going to lay open it and keep it so this way what happens the seam which is already the stitch part which is there it is not in a line so you don't have to you know be uh, be careful about like how the seam is going to fall whether the point will come in right place or not so this is a convenient way of doing it and now i number them 
so when I'm stitching them up that time I won't mess it up so this is the first and the second strip I'm joining I've already joined that and this is the third one so you put the right side together and then stitch it this is how I'm going to join all the 20 strips uh, from one block I got 10 right so because I have taken two at a time so then that's why now it is 20 strips so you see the seam allowance which is there it doesn't matter whether it goes this side or that side left or right doesn't matter so you keep stitching like this now this is all the 20 I have stitched after stitching the whole all of the strips you see this is how it looks and I've joined both of them the 20 strips each of them joined together and then I had two pieces of those and I've joined it together this is how it